Eddie, and then Fast Eddie left, and in 1982, he went on to find Fastway, and the lead singer of that band, Fastway, you're probably wondering how this all fits in, right, was Dave King, who has now started his own band called Catman Do. Did I do that right? Sort of. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll try it again. Of course anyway, you got Dave course King, you. the singer of Catman Do, and Mandy Meyer, who is the guitarist. Welcome mm -hmm. to the Headbangers Ball. Now, um, I remember seeing you sing at the Roxy in L.A., I guess a kind of an all-star jam thing that they had. And the I Beatles? Was the, uh, the Beatles? Uh, no. no. It wasn't the Beatles. You know, something else, but I was really impressed. You've got a really, really good voice. Oh, a real thank strong you. voice. Thank I think you. that was right when you were starting Catman. Yeah, Do. yeah. That's probably so what stuff have you guys been doing right now? What are you up to? Well, at the moment, we're rehearsing to go to uh, Japan. Where, uh, our album's number two. Great. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, so we're rehearsing for a few weeks and uh, getting a longer set together, you know, because mm -hmm. they want 19 minutes and we've only got six. Where are you from? Because you have a... Irish. I'm Ireland. Are you Irish too? No, I'm, I'm Swiss. Now, how did you guys, how did you guys <laughs> set up? Oh, we were skiing somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we... Uh, John Clodner, who's a friend of ours, mm -hmm. uh, sort of got us together. I was in Ireland and I uh, was, wasn't doing much. Pretty much like Alden Ova, I got fed up with the music business as well, you know? So I said, i got to get out of this and uh, go back home to greener pastures. But like everything else, you know, you think the grass grows greener on the other side, so I decided to uh, get back into it. So I made a few phone calls, and one of the people that I was talking to was Kolodner, and he told me about this guy. And you played with, I guess, a bunch of bands. You played with Crocus, Cobra, and Asia. Yeah, I was like, well, I wouldn't play you home yeah. now? You in a band now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I wanted. It's really mm -hmm. bad. Like you know, you know, be involved with something from the start. You know that. You know, hopefully, you know we'll get further than we are now. <laughs> we'll be there. back and uh, talk to these guys in just a second. Right now, let's play a video so you can see and hear just what these guys sound like. Here is Catman Do with the way you make me feel. Hey, you're watching the Headbangers Ball. We've got Dave and Mandy from the band Catman Do here. And uh, you just saw their video, The Way You Make Me Feel. Now, the video, like your uh, other video, When the Rain Comes, it kind of has that sort of 60s psychedelic feel to it, it's, would you say? It's just the way things happen. Like, I mean, you know, a lot of things happen for different reasons. And it's like, this is the type of mood the band is in at the moment. I think, you know, when you've got what happened in Iraq and stuff like that, I think people want to forget about, you know, that's over now. Things, but hopefully, pray to God, we can forget about that and learn from that. Just forget about it and be light and be happy and have a good time, you know? And therefore, people want to go back to the 60s when they think of that because that was, you know, one of those times as well where musical... I think music should have more freedom than what it used to have. There's too many labels being put on it, you know? Yeah. I yeah. think the freedom of it, you know, it doesn't matter what you play, what you do, just have a good time. You know? The word Catman do was a place, I think, in the 60s where all the... Oh, it still is, actually. Where the hippies used to get back together, yeah. get together and... Well, the reason why we called the band Catman do is because of that reason. But the ironic reason why we did call the band that is because at the moment in Kathmandu, the people are at the moment going through a change of government. And the way they're doing it is revolt the way the Westerners have done it. And it's like, it's just so ironic that the way mm. things are going, you know. And I just thought it was a Bob Speaker song. No! No, no, actually now, Janis Joplin sings about it. You all, oh, I, I didn't even know. Speaking of Janis Joplin, you have a song that is kind of a tribute to Janis Joplin on your record? Yeah. Only the good Do Young. It's, uh, she's she's been my probably my mainstay idol mm -hmm. as a singer. So it's kind of your tribute to her. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right now uh, we'll be back talking to you guys in Kathmandu. Don't forget next week I'm going to be with the guys in Megadeth for the special Hangar 18. I'm I'm kind of saying this slowly because I'm going to be jumping out of a plane with the guys from Megadeth. Okay, and as you can tell, I'm just really really looking forward to it. Right now, you can see a bit of Dave Mustaine jumping out of a plane in this video. Here is Megadeth with Hangar 18. Uh, because we have to get a longer set together, and we need a lot of time to rehearse for that, mm -hmm. you know? Excited to get out there playing? Yeah. Hopefully this summer. Yeah, hopefully we'll be, you know, on the road to talk about this in the tour. Great. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by. Thank you, Fast. Right now, it's time to play some boys that come from my hometown of L.A. Their band is called Kick Tracy. Now, they got signed on the strength of their live show. They, when they got signed, they didn't even have a demo tape. And Dana Strum, yeah, you've heard of him. He's in the band Slaughter. Well, he produced their debut album, No Rules. And here is the debut first video. That's being redundant, isn't it? The debut first video. Anyway, of Kick Tracy, here it is with Don't Need Rules. Ooh, yeah. 